you about two compelling reasons that you might want to consider leaving your old Adobe subscription. You know, about nine or ten months ago, I did a video when Affinity Publisher first came out and talked about whether or not it was time to leave Adobe because there was now a viable suite of apps for designers that included a layout editor, a vector editor, and a raster editor. Of course, at that time, Affinity Publisher was in beta, so we were still talking about kind of being on the edge and not sure if we had production level software at that point in time. But now Affinity Publisher last week came out of beta, so I think it's time to revisit this topic. And I want to talk about two compelling reasons to switch. This is based on things that I've learned a lot in the comments of that video, a lot of things that I didn't know before. And it's also based on what we've seen from both companies on the last about six months of time. And the first thing I want to say is I'm not talking about price in this video. Okay, we already have gone over that. We know that switching will save you quite a bit of money switching from Adobe, but there's always been reasons to stay with Adobe because you needed the industry standard software and you could stick with it at that price, even $53 a month US or more elsewhere in the world. It still made sense lots of times to stick with it because you could make the money there. But now I think there are two reasons to really consider switching at this point that don't have anything to do with price. And the first one is going to be software integration. So Affinity announced their Studio Link feature when they released Affinity Publisher on the market, and that allows them to integrate publisher, designer, and photo all together in one platform where you can do all of your layout, your raster, and your vector work all at the same time. This is a super compelling feature. Now, some of you will be like, well, that's great, Ben, but I also need video editing software. Okay, when I made my video nine or 10 months ago, I actually didn't know anything about DaVinci Resolve. I didn't even know it was a program that existed. But that's a free program that actually combines the features that you find in Premiere, After Effects, and Audition so that you can do professional video work without being in Adobe's pocket. That's another place where the feature set is being combined, where Adobe has them broken out into separate things and you have to switch and load apps in order to do your work. Your workflow is actually much faster in both DaVinci Resolve and Affinity Publisher as opposed to being in Adobe and having to switch between apps to do different types of work on those projects. So I think that app integration is number one, the compelling reason to leave Adobe behind. Adobe has had the open in feature for a long time, but they have not actually made their apps integrated. I think that has a lot to do with historical reasons. It has a lot to do probably with their code base that is in desperate need of being updated. And so that is just a good reason to consider switching over if you can. The second reason that I want to talk about goes kind of along with that and Adobe's old code base and not being committed to new features. And that is mobile development. And Adobe has released a number of mobile apps, but they have not been very good. We've talked about this before but they just have not shown a commitment to developing on the mobile platform or even for the iPad Pro. Even though the iPad is totally capable of professional level work. And so last year Adobe announced that they would be bringing Photoshop to the iPad Pro in 2019. We are halfway through 2019 now. We still haven't seen Photoshop come out and we really haven't seen any news on how it's going. They did just release a video, a short teaser video about Adobe Fresco, which is supposed to compete with Procreate, but Procreate is already so good on the iPad Pro, I just don't see a lot of people switching over to Adobe Fresco at this point. And we still don't know when Adobe Fresco will be released either, so it seems like Adobe just keeps pushing it back and back, whereas Affinity has shown a very solid commitment to making their apps available on the iPad running at great speeds with professional level quality. And so I think that a lot of designer workflow and even my video workflow is moving on to the iPad. And so for me, it's a really compelling reason to be able to switch between desktop and mobile with one file format, easily be able to move over. And so I really think that that is a compelling reason to make the switch to leave Adobe behind because Affinity has already produced Designer and Photo, which are the best apps in their categories on the iPad. 
and they've said that they're committed to releasing Publisher there as well. And they've already made Publisher documents openable on the iPad in Photo and in Designer. And so we can start to do our work immediately on the go while we're out and about that time that we have in between things. I've just found that this is a super effective way to work. And so those are my two compelling reasons that are not price. First, app integration, and second, mobile development. And of course, there's just the bonus if you do switch over of not paying a monthly fee anymore because DaVinci Resolve is free and each of the Affinity apps are $50. You're about $150 in to make this switch and you really haven't lost much of anything unless, of course, this is always the caveat, you have clients that require you to use Adobe Files. If that's the case, well then, they should be paying you enough to stick with it, but you'll have to deal with the frustration of not having a mobile workflow and not having app integration. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Remember that I have courses on these programs on Skillshare, and you can find the links to those courses in the description of this video.